Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So I've been mining a little bit and got some stuff. 37 diamond ore, not too bad. Uh, iron, got some, I got just a mix of stuff, not too bad. I'm gonna put this stuff away and then we're gonna go check out something uh, that uh, I've been wanting to work on. What do we have here? Woo, perfect landing. Welcome to the drowned farm. So I've got this, uh, I, I went out looking for a place to do this. I found a, a, a river, river biome that's particularly wide and it's got a couple curves. And I choose a spot and then I built a platform way up in the sky. Uh, that's about the right size and uh, I made the mistake of choosing uh, the point where it's going to be gear that's right in the middle of the river but that's okay we're, we're working around it and then I laid out dirt here to actually of the actual river biome and then I laid out glass above it and then it's a little bit uh, I deviated a little bit because uh, it was just a lot easier to include these three blocks uh so they'll be these are not this is not part of the river biome this is probably beach um but you know what it'll, it'll reduce the effectiveness of the farm a little bit and then i went up and, and built big old thing up there um of the same uh the same shape i believe i've got them all aligned <laughs> so um next thing for us to do we got a couple couple steps here so let's get going so the next thing I have to do is uh, take out, get rid of all this dirt because I need to get, I need to place uh, fence gates, the bottom layer of the uh, the glass here. So let me take care of this real quick, and then we'll start placing fences. Whoa! I filled up my inventory. Let's go. Uh, let's take. Uh, this and put it up there. Pick this up. Whoa! I really filled up the inventory. Okay, so I got all the dirt. Yeah. Oh, except for that one little pile of blocks here. Bloop. Let's get that away for the time being, and then go play fence gates because we need. Oh, perfect. Okay. Don't forget about the ones you're carrying in your offhand. Oh, wow. Perfect. Okay. So, this is, as I said, a drowned farm. And we should be able to now place fence gates like this. We don't need to put them on top of anything anymore, which is super convenient. And then we can just go and open them up. Open up. Ah. Wow. Their hitboxes are kind of weird. Okay, so this is a. Uh, oops. I have to lay out a bunch of these. Let me do that. And then we can move on to the next step. Okay, let's go sleep. It's probably reasonably, it's safe for me up here at night because obviously it's all glass and half slabs and nothing can spawn up here, but um, the stupid phantoms can cause a bit of a headache and it's a little difficult to see the, uh, the hitboxes on these things at night. So it makes it kind of difficult to go through and do all of the, the opening, which is the tough part. They need to be open. I want the 
the drown to be able to fall through, but I want them to stop the water. Um, so that is that is the basic theory here. And then of course I go up above and put in a bunch of water and have it fall down. And lots of stuff will spawn in it. I'll get fish and 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 uh, whatnot. And actually, we're in a river biome, so I think we'll get squid too. Um, unfortunately, it's not really going to be an effective ink farm. It won't replace the ink farm in the pyramid, uh, but um, it will. Um, it will generate. It will generate drops other than uh, what what I get from the drowned, but this is primarily here to deal with the drowned. Whew, and there we are. Let me just make sure I haven't missed anything. There's some wackiness in the shape around the backside here, but I think I got it all. And I need to just double check to make sure they're all open. But they look like they are. That was a lot of fence case. That's uh, eight and a half stacks, <laughs> which is uh, helpful to know because that means I need that much dirt for the next step. Nice. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing missing right up over here. I caught this little outcrop. Nice. Okay. Um, before I go up and do the next step up there, let me take care of something down here. Where did I get these from? Yeah, that'll work. Whew. And I could probably start cleaning up some of these shulker boxes. Okay, I need this. So drowns like zombies, they really don't like turtles. Um, and what I've got here is I've got this little thing here. And I initially had heard uh, somebody saw mention that you can place, of course, you can hatch turtle eggs on sand. If you place a turtle egg on red sand, it will never hatch. It has to be the, the you know, regular, you know, yellow sand. Um, so I was planning on using a piece of red sand for this, but Turns out you can place turtle eggs on glass. Uh, you can place them on lots of things. They just will only hatch if they're on the regular yellow sand. The other thing I found in playing around with this is that the egg needs to have sky access. Otherwise, the drowns won't pathfind to it. Don't understand, but there we go. Okay, and then I put the trap doors so that the drowns then think they can walk to the egg and stomp on it because that's really what they want to do. Uh, and then I put in some barriers here uh, to prevent them from getting on top of this yellow and then pathfinding around to the egg. And I think I've got it here all safe and sound because they can come down and they could potentially land um, on like this block here, but they can't get over to there. So they'll just jump off. I think that's, I think that will work. So let's go, let me go grab some, let me sleep. Let me grab some dirt and we can do the next thing. Okay, I made a mistake here, but well, it's not a big deal. Okay, so from here, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I made a small mistake, not that big of a deal. It's just gonna slow me down a little bit, but now we need to come up here and Place in dirt at this level around the whole thing. So that's, um, as I said, it's something that's going to be just short of nine stacks of dirt. And I need to make sure to bite this up. And so I don't get mob spawns on it while I'm working. And there. Okay, so we got we got a layer of dirt in here. It's all temporary. And the sun's going down. Let's go back over to my little uh, P 
pillar of dirt because I forgot to bring up something I need next so we can go down and go get it and put away some of this dirt. I need to keep some on hand, but um, we're going to... Uh, there we go. Sun's going down. Um, and of course, that, all that dirt is going to cast a shadow down here. But fortunately, I already went down on the ground below and laid out a grid of torches that covers not only this platform, but a little bit off to the side because I just don't want nasty stuff spawning down there. So let's uh, do this. I want to keep a couple of these just in case. And now I need to find the other stuff. Hang on, let me find it and we will move on to the next step. Plop, plop, plop. So I'm uh, partly recording. This is intended as a test. I want to see if I've got the balance between my voice and game sounds down right. I think I'm doing okay. We'll see. Um, my mixer did die started making all sorts of nasty buzzing sounds uh, so I, I had to uh, replace it and uh, and because I was trying to troubleshoot the old mixer um, I uh, yeah it should be fine I, tr I was trying to troubleshoot the old mixer so I changed all the settings around which isn't which isn't great because um, I that means I forgot where my set it, some of the settings were yeah okay so now we are going to flood this top layer with the water and this is uh, so I've got a bunch of ice and we'll just do this and we should be able to kind of go and do it old-school style I want it to all be source blocks. There we go. And I can resort to the bucket at some point if I need to. But I can do this with the ice for the time being. And there we go. We have a whole layer of source water source blocks. Okay, that's very cool. Now, for the dangerous part. Well, I guess it's not really all that dangerous. And that didn't take as much ice as I thought it was going to. I'm kind of happy about that. Let me put the rest of this ice away, though. Because I have a bucket, and I can... Uh... Ah, stop it. There we go. So I have a bucket, I can always fill in water if I need to. In fact, let's get the bucket on the bar. Now I need to remove all the dirt. Said it was temporary. And we'll need to check in on it. Because if I did my job right. Oh look, there's, there's fish spawning in the water already. Uh, so if I did this right, if I if I got the top and bottom glass layers or rings aligned correctly, then uh, the water will flow down, get caught in the bottom of the thing. Oh, that's right, stuff floats now. Okay, that's fine. I don't need this dirt. It was uh, it was temporary. It didn't uh, expected to lose most of it. This is fine. We get rid of this and we will continue. And that's it. Okay, so I've got a bunch of floating water thingies. Let's go down and see if I did my job correctly. I have to be a little careful because there might actually be some drowns spawning, although it's a little bit light out for that. There we go. Okay, so... 
Oh, poor fishies. Uh, so they, they'll drop, the fish will drop fish drops, and they'll, they'll also drop uh, bone meal sometimes, I think. And let me get the rest of my dirt. So it looks like I did okay. So the water comes down, it falls inside the top layer of the ring, it's stopped by the fence gates, and oh, it's getting dark. So I made a little platform down here where we can sit and wait and see if we get any drowns. There's one. I see I see one right there. I thought I think I did. Oh, I hear I hear one. There he is. Look at him. Hello, buddy. And he's going to go and try and stomp on the egg. Oh, there's one. Look at that. Nice. And oh, he picked up some fish for me. Thank you. That was very nice of you. So I've got uh, hoppers. And a carpet and a standing on the hoppers. And the hoppers feed down in this chest. So any when I kill them, their drops will fall in there. The reason I can't automate them, automate this like I can't have them just die from fall damage is that uh, they won't drop their tridents if you don't kill them so we're hoping to get uh, some some guys with the tridents and then we're hoping that they will drop and I of course have uh, looting on my sword to increase the chance of that happening okay I think my game sounds are a tad high here so let me turn them down a little bit here okay rah, rah. they make funny noises and we can just come here and Kill them all like that. And then I can open up the thing and, oh look, I got a drowned head. <laughs> it's mostly going to be the rotten flush and, and stuff that they pick up. But periodically, they'll come along and do their thing. Um, it's going to work It's going to work particularly well here at nighttime because it's dark. Oh look, this guy's an olive shell. And he's he will drop that. So this will be a way of getting olive shells too. Nice. Yay! Okay, that's very cool. Um, and then uh, the way I've got this set up with the half slab here is so that the babies um, I can I can get at them, but the babies can't get at me. There is a slab, and then I put the half slab down here as a, as a way of sort of holding, uh, preventing spawns and getting me down low enough that I can I can actually smack them. The little babies, um, there is this potential problem. If uh, the if the baby spawns and is carrying a trident, the little baby with the trident can potentially hit me. Oh, he's got himself a nice little fishing pole. Oh, this is so exciting. So this is so much better than swimming around the ocean trying to get these guys. Um, I just need to find myself uh, some, uh, some trident guys. Because I still need a channeling trident. Um... Cool. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna smack some of these guys around and uh, see what we can get, and maybe we we'll get a trident. Maybe not. Uh, at least right now, um, they have a the the trident guys are pretty rare. Um, and then if they and then if they uh, do spawn, they have a pretty small chance of actually dropping their trident. It's it's unfortunate, but this is. Uh, this is how we will get our next trident. This farm seems like an awful lot of work for uh, to get one trident, basically, because I already have my impaling trident, um, and then I uh, have I do have a riptide trident, which isn't doesn't seem that exciting to me. Um, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh, hey, nice. So we will, we will see how it goes. Uh, and then next step, when the sun comes up, I need to I need to work on putting a uh, a roof on this place so that it stays dark all the time and it isn't just effective at nighttime. And also will prevent the uh, the phantoms from spawning because right now through the glass the phantoms can spawn, um, so that's not good. So anyway, I think. I have to check. I think that's probably long enough for today. Um, I will... If we happen to... Oh, here's another... What do you have? Oh, he's got a trident. Let's see if he drops it. And then uh, another Nautilus there. 
Did he drop his trident? I don't see it. Okay. As I said, it's kind of a rare, rare chance. But this will maximize our chances of actually getting one. There we go. Okay. Well, anyway, that's it. That's the uh, fabulous drown farm where we will get more Nautilus shells so we can make more conduits. And I will finally get my, my trident. <gasps> he dropped it. He dropped it. Yay. Oh, it's got, I'm breaking two on it. It's almost dead. I got my trident. I got my trident. Cool. So I will call that a success. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party. And I will see you next time. Right, bye.